So what are application pools? Um, they're a new feature in Horizon View 6.0. Uh, basically, View can present remote desktop applications to end users just like Citrix ZenApp. If you're familiar with ZenApp, um, this will look very familiar to you as well. Uh, it's leveraging the same technology underneath to present applications via PC over IP to end users. Um, what's the benefit of this? Well, basically you have applications running on a remote server and so you can guarantee performance of the application because it's running in your data center but you get the same user experience uh, regardless of where you are. So you can bring up this application on any any machine that has a view client um, whether it be an Android device, iOS device, Windows, Mac, um, anything that has a view 6 client can access this application. Uh, the requirements for it are pretty light. Uh, you just have to have a server 2008 with a remote desktop services role. Uh, on that server you need to have the view 6.0 agent and of course your application installed on that server. You need to have PC over IP uh, connectivity to that server and you need to have a view 6.0 client. So let's take a look at how you configure this. So I have just a server 2008 VM here called app01 and notice it currently has no roles installed. In order for this to work we have to add the remote desktop services role. So in server manager we're just going to add role, choose remote desktop services, and then we need the remote desktop session host, remote desktop, set, remote desktop licensing, and then we can just say it does not require network level authentication we can configure the licensing later choose whichever groups need to access this um, probably that's going to be domain users because you're going to have potentially anybody in your domain accessing this and you can control the entitlements in view administrator anyway um, and then you can skip all of this and then install. It's going to go ahead and add that role to our server and then the server will need to reboot and we'll wait for it to reboot. Alright now our server is back up and so you should see that the remote desktop services role is installed. In this particular instance we have a warning because it's not licensed um, but in your environment you should at least see this role installed. Uh, if you do not see this role installed uh, make sure to do that before moving forward. So now that we have the remote desktop services installed the next thing we need is the view agent. So we're gonna go ahead and launch that. We're going to accept the license agreement and then notice the, uh, the settings here. We're just going to leave the default. Really all we need is the PCIP server. And then it's going to ask us to register it with our view connection server. And if, if you're a user that's an administrator or at least has ability to register machines in View Administrator. You can tell it to authenticate as the currently logged on user. Otherwise, you need to specify credentials there. If this machine has been registered previously, go ahead and tell it to update the existing registration and install. After this install is complete, we'll need to do another reboot. Now our view agent is installed. We're going to finish and tell it to reboot again. And so now our server is back up after installing the view agent. Uh, you can verify that it's installed by looking at add or remove programs and you see the horizon view agent listed there. So now we just need an app to remove. So in this particular instance I'm going to do the vSphere client. So that's, that's something I use pretty often. 
you can feel free to use a different app if you like. Um, I'm just going to run through the installed vSphere client here for a second. Okay, my vSphere client is installed now. So the next step would be to go to, into View Administrator and set up this app. So I'm going to log into View Administrator. Now that I'm in View Administrator, I need to add my server form. So I can create a server form of my application server that I have. Um, do I want to use PC over IP uh, or do I want to use RDP? Do I want to allow users to choose? Most of the time, no. I want to force them to use PC over IP. Um, if they're left sitting after uh, X number of minutes, I can uh, have a timeout and then that will disconnect them. Um, and then that will even log them off the server if I like. So I'm going to say after a minute, um, disconnect them. And then after a disconnect of five minutes, log them off. Uh, the last setting down here is um, views integration with Mirage. Uh, you can use Mirage to manage certain desktops. Uh, that doesn't apply to server operating systems, so we're not going to use that here. And so now I'm going to choose the, the machine that we just registered with View Administrator. If you'll remember, when we installed the View Agent, we had to register that machine with View. This is where this, this appears. And then now I've set up my server farm. And then now I need to go and set up my application pool. So in application pools, I'm going to hit Add. And I'm going to choose my server farm that we just created and you'll notice that it by default finds a lot of uh, executables running on that server. I'm going to scroll down and found, find the app that I want. In this instance, mine's the VMware vSphere client. So I'm going to choose next. And I can name my, my application pool. And I can also entitle users. So I'm going to entitle domain admins since they need to access vSphere and OK and so now I have my VMware vSphere client application pool now that you've set up your application pool in View Administrator um, you can open up a View client and connect to your View Connection server as any user that's entitled to this application pool that we just created and so once you're logged in, you should see your app here on, on your view client. So notice it pulls the icon from the application that's installed. And all you have to do is double click on that application. And you'll see the view client is preparing the connection server, uh, preparing the application on the connection server. And so now I have uh, my application running here.